It's about that time of day again. Welcome back to your nightly newsletter, boys and girls. Joseph James here. It's Thursday evening, April 30th, 2015, last day of the month of April. Boy, that month flew right by. I hope you guys had a great month with us here in the newsletter. In tonight's newsletter, though, we're not done yet. Crude oil is bullish this evening, trying to push its way up to $60 a barrel. We've got some great clues on the price action chart for crude. We get a nice set of bull channels and a great trading range which is going to give us some buying opportunities and some targets for tomorrow. If you're a crude trader, you definitely want to stick around for that chart as we go forward. How about the gold? The yellow metal? Bearish, bearish, bearish. Just a little bit bearish. Big collapse today on the yellow metal. Well below that $1,200 an ounce. And, of course, all the way down to the range lows. Now we have the buyers stepping in. The buyers are going to have some short-term opportunities tomorrow going up to the highs of a very long-term bear channel. So buyers, make sure you pay attention here, and sellers will be staying patient for tomorrow on the gold. How about the euro, the newest addition to our nightly newsletter? The euro, the 6E euro futures is bullish. We get multiple bullish channels this evening to work with on the euro. Our plan is the same thing it was last night on the euro, but... We have some very important clues as far as exactly where we want to be buying those pullbacks and which support levels and resistance levels are going to apply for tomorrow. Before we begin with our charts this evening, I do want to remind you guys I teach all of this to all of our students here at SchoolTrade.com. And I want to make sure to remind you also to watch this video on our trading blog here at SidewaysMarkets.com. Now, in addition to all of the other great resources that are on this website of ours, I also want to remind you here, we have a free pass to come out and join us in our live trade room. If you're not a member of School of Trade and you'd like to take a test drive, grab a free pass to get in the back door of our trade room, not a member of School of Trade, want to see what it means to be a member? I'd love to give you a free pass, upper left-hand corner. Also, lower left-hand corner here, right above my ugly mug, you'll see a spot for your name and your email address. Give me your name and your email address. I'm going to send you an email every evening right around 8 p.m. Eastern time when this nightly newsletter goes live. That way you never have to worry about missing another newsletter ever again. And did you know you can download all my charts Right below the video, you'll see a link right there. Yeah, the one that says click here to download today's charts. That link right there will take you to the page where you can download all the charts you're going to see me using here this evening. So download charts below the video, register for the newsletter mailing list, and grab your free pass and come out and see me tomorrow in the trade room as a trial member here of School of Trade. Seatbelts fastened, guys. <laughs> Seatbelts fastened, helmets on. We've got one more day left this week here. We've had a great week so far. Hope you guys have as well. Let's start out here with the newest addition to our newsletter, the Euro Futures. The 6E, right? The Euro. Here's a 2400 tick chart of the Euro. The Euro, no surprise there. We get exactly what we bargained for in last night's newsletter. And not a lot has changed here. Euro is bullish, trading inside a a plethora, a multitude of bull channels this evening. Our plan continues the same as last night. We're going to buy support levels, right, using either reversal patterns or pullback patterns on the way up to some measured move targets overhead. Check out the long-term channel. We call this the major channel. Don't forget, markets will definitely go from low to high, from low to high, from high to low, right? So we expect to see that rotation back and forth inside of this channel. And then you got this little guy, this cute little channel in here. We call this a minor channel. I wouldn't call this a micro. The larger one's a major. This is definitely a minor channel. And I went ahead and I drew in three different levels on it. The third one, the top one up here, this one's not exactly confirmed just yet, but we know, though, that it does look like it's got potential to get us right up around those highs there. So we'll definitely be using the minor channel and the major channel, again, looking for support to buy and looking for resistance to take our profit after we buy. We also, of course, have some very important measured moves on this chart, right? These are A, B, C, D, very, very simple stuff, right? A to B. C to D, right? We get a measured move there. Look closely. A to B, 
C to D, we're already at the measured move resistance at the 1271. So we're definitely expecting a pullback, and we're getting that pullback right now. Now, we never quite know exactly where this market will pull back, right? We're always going to be reacting like everybody else, but we are prepared here now. Trend line support, trigger zone support, channel support, swing support, swing, trigger zone support. All of these areas in green, all of these support levels below, we will be looking for buying opportunities. And remember, we'll be trading this market just like the others every day in our live trade room. Come out and join me tomorrow, and we'll show you guys how we enter and exit live in real time and how we use these levels to, of course, then anticipate a trade, right? We're not just blindly buying them. We're going to wait for the turn, and then we'll be looking for our buying opportunities, right, as it starts to go up. Or we can look for a reversal pattern. That's the earliest opportunity that we're going to have to be a buyer here right now. Bullish, bullish on the euro here for tomorrow. Keep an eye on that. Now, moving from the euro to the yellow metal, the gold futures, Gold, just a little bit bearish here today. Just a little bit bearish. Now, if you look at this on a larger term chart, you'll notice we really just went right back to the lows of this range. We really didn't do a lot of new damage here. It wasn't it wasn't that dramatic. I know it felt pretty dramatic, but it was just it just puts us back towards the lows of that range again. This is the range we've been watching here for quite some time. So gold is bearish. In the long term, we have this long-term bear channel. We get a little bit of a, it's tough to call this a midline, but it's definitely a parallel or very similar size for a similar directional uh, trend line there. So we'll use that as resistance. You can see it lines up nicely here with that trigger zone. So our plan is going to be to continue to look for selling opportunities here. But you're going to see, though, there's going to be plenty of short-term opportunities here for these buyers to take this back up, right? So this is that time when we know the conservative traders here are going to say, well, we're going to wait for it to go up, and then we'll wait for the easy money right coming right back down short-term traders though just be careful of this little measured move we have going on right now but i would assume though a breakdown and then a measured move higher right you're going to see some short-term buying opportunities as we go higher whatever you do though if you're a bull out there on the gold right now just be careful buying into these resistance areas overhead i would definitely pick your spots wisely tomorrow if you're a buyer on gold because as we go up we will be looking for the price to return back to its long-term bearish trend as it goes higher here so again short-term buying opportunities on the gold for tomorrow long-term selling opportunities here as we stick to this bearish trend right so again look to sell at resistance sell at the highs of the channel sell at resistance in the meantime though short-term buying opportunities on the way up and our target has to be up around the high of that channel here for you buyers again just be very careful buying directly into that overhead resistance moving forward here last but not least here tonight we go from the gold here to that black gold right the yellow the yellow gold to the black gold crude oil what do we got here on crude another bullish scenario here on crude we got a couple couple things to talk about here on crude tonight Crude is bullish. Our plan is to buy support levels using reversal and pullback patterns. We have the highs of the channel and the range expansion targets ready for Friday's session. So a couple things you want to be aware of on this. First of all, another scenario where we have a really large channel. Remember this one from last night? And we were expecting price to rotate down, right? But we talked about this last night. We said, well, the rest of the world hadn't seen the report from the FOMC this morning so of course this was the Asian Australian reaction right held it right up there and of course they kept it going here today uh, in the US or the London and the US sessions so if you zoom out a little bit further on this you'll see there is a larger channel if you download if you download the charts below the video you can get this big channel here a little bit easier to see zoomed all the way out there so we definitely have a larger channel in play here again you can get the you can get more information about that larger channel by uh downloading those charts below the video a couple things here more we have a short-term channel right again kind of call this a midline so to speak and then we have a channel high up here 
I would I would treat this as your major channel right now and that means of course we'll be looking to buy at support right we're bullish and then how about some targets for tomorrow this trading range a very a very important trading range because that trading range gives us an easy set of targets here now I know we've been relatively range bound this week on crew with the exception of these last uh, well of course yesterday's big run up right but we know though that the ranges have been definitely giving us easy easy targets so we're talking 59 let's say 60 it, it won't take much to get up to that 61 61 16 area here tomorrow only thing we have to worry about here is this is this high of this channel right the high of that channel will likely put a little bit of a lid on the upside movement for tomorrow We'll have to wait and see what it looks like but we definitely know though that the black gold is bullish right now we are looking for buying opportunities at support levels right especially the high of that range right so buying the high of that range buying the trigger zone support buying the trigger zone support buying the channel support right really difficult right now to be a seller We'll come in and we'll be trading a much faster time frame tomorrow morning in our trade room, obviously. And in that trade room, we may find some short-term selling opportunities, but it's it's as about as about as night and day as it can be right now. It is clearly bullish. Higher highs, higher lows, nice multi multi-tiered channel to work with. And so we're going to continue here to look for buying opportunities here on crude. And of course, you got some easy targets. We'll definitely continue to update these charts tomorrow morning in our live trade room. So don't forget, you don't have to go out this. Uh, you don't have to go out there and do this alone, guys. So come out and see me tomorrow. Join me in the trade room. We get a great free trial here at School of Trade. You can register for the free trial right on our homepage. And while you're here, don't forget, check out our beginner, intermediate, and advanced courses here at School of Trade. Always got someone standing by to help you guys 24-7, 365. Don't forget, grab your free pass. Register for the mailing list. Download those charts for today. And that'll do it for me this week. Hope you guys had a profitable and educational week here with us on our nightly newsletter. It's always such a pleasure of mine to be able to work with you guys every evening. I would love your feedback. Email me, jj at schooltrade.com or post a comment below the video. Always a pleasure. You guys have a great weekend. Next newsletter will be Monday evening. That's right. They do let me out of my cage on Friday afternoons. You guys should enjoy the weekend as well. I'll see you back here Monday. If not, tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. Eastern time in our live trade room. You guys be well. Be nice to each other. Enjoy the springtime weather out there. And Oh, and happy May Day. I almost forgot about it. Right? Happy May Day to all the folks celebrating May Day. Boy, it's going to be summertime before you know it. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. in my trade room. If not, next Monday evening for the next edition of our nightly newsletter. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye for now.